hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in PHP using stored procedure how to bind data from my SQL PHP my admin database into drop down list control enter and here we got the final output we got a head attacks h1 s2 and a horizontal line and the select option which is a drop down list see here the country name india us and australia is binded into this drop down list control using store procedure india us and australia if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates i just logged into my sql php my admin database before writing the coding part in php first we'll check the table name to bind the data into a drop down list control and notice here i have opened the country table which contains two columns cid and cname now my aim is i want to bind this cname which is a country name column into a drop down list control using stored procedure let's create a new stored procedure in the sample db database click the sample db database and notice in the sample db home page here click that one create a new add routine the, the routine name is huh? sp store procedure country store procedure is a store procedure name select the type which is a procedure only and the parameters the direction is the output I'm adding C name which is a column name the data type is a varchar the length is 50 now I'm writing the select query in the definition select start from the table name table name is a country see what you want here country semicolon that's it click go and here the stored procedure country sp has been created this one let's execute and the stored procedure is executed successfully let's write the coding part in php i am using notepad plus plus to write the php code i am adding php tag now between these php tags the first i am adding my php my admin connection string objects dollar host name is equals to the host name is the local host dollar db name the database name the database name is sample db the third variable is a username I'm adding root which is a default username the last one I'm adding password the password I'm leaving empty because I don't have any password to log into my PHP my admin database so if you have any password just enter that password after that dollar con is equals to my sqli connect method now in this connect method i am adding my connection string variables double calls the first parameter is a host name comma the second parameter is a username the third one is a password and the password I don't have any password so I'm leaving empty the last one is a database name which is a dollar DB name now after adding the connection string properties in the connect method now I'm checking the condition the connection string properties are, are valid or not if my SQL underscore connect underscore error number method 
If the connection string properties are not valid, I want to display an error message. I'm using echo failed to connect MySQL PHP my admin database dot MySQL connect underscore error method. If the connection is succeeded, I want to fetch the records from the database dollar result is equals to MySQLI underscore query method. The query method takes two parameters. The first parameter is the connection object and the second parameter I am adding the command type. Here the command type I am using the store procedure name between double quotes I am adding my store procedure name the store procedure to copy up to here and paste here just delete this single quotes we don't require echo I'm adding center tag echo H1 display data from my SQL my admin database into drop down list echo text to using store procedure in php I'm adding horizontal line Now after the horizontal line, I am adding a drop down list control. In PHP, the drop down list control we use the select option HTML element. So first I am adding echo select echo option option now between this option I'm adding the country name which is a now I'm binding data from the database into this select option using while loop while dollar row is equals to my SQLI underscore fetch array method now in this fetch array method I'm adding the result dollar result copy that one paste here echo option value is equals to between single quotes dollar row now in the square brackets I am adding the column name the column name is a C name copy that one and paste here let's close the option tag also I just add this row C name here that's it we have added the C name column from the country table into this select option HTML element let's close the select HTML element as well as we have to close the center tag also and the last one 
I'm closing the connection string my SQLI underscore close method the close method takes a connection object that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save this file I'm saving this file in the root folder www store procedure data drop down list dot php let's save this file now it's time to check the results on the browser enter and here we got the final output we got a header tags h1 s2 and a horizontal line and the select option which is a drop down list see here the country name india us and australia is binded into this drop down list control using store procedure india us and australia that's it